welcome my dear student i hope you all are fine by the grace of allah now everybody welcome to my botany class of standard 7 today i am going to talk about the structure of plant cell and animal cell so today's topic's name is the structure of plant cell and animal cell dear student we can see a house in the picture this house is made by brick here brick is the structural unit of this house similarly the body of an organism is organized by a unit this unit is known as cell this cell acts like a brick to organize the body of an organism for this reason cell are often called the building blocks of life now the definition of cell the structural and functional unit of living beings are called cell actually in the environment we can see many similarities and dissimilarities among various plants and animals of their size structure and activities the main similarity is that the bodies of all organisms are composed by the cell in 1665 robert hooke discovered the cell cell word comes from the latin word cellula which means a small room a typical plant cell is made by different part here plant cell mainly divided into two parts number 1 cell wall and number 2 protoplasm cell wall is the non living part of the plant cell and protoplasm is the living part of the plant cell here protoplasm contains three parts number 1 cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus here cytoplasm is divided into three parts matrix cytoplasmic organelles and cell vacuole cytoplasmic organelles are plastid mitochondria golgi body endoplasmic reticulum ribosome lysosome etc now i want to show the structure of plant cell and animal cell so this is a animal cell and this is a plant cell here it is called microvilli and it is chloroplast mitochondria lysosome these are lysosome of animal cell golgi body nucleus cell wall nucleolus endoplasmic reticulum look at the figure here two types of endoplasmic reticulum are present one is smooth and another is rough centrosome cell membrane microtubules cytoplasm and ribosome here we can see some difference between plant cell and animal cell the main difference between plant cell and animal cell is the presence of chloroplast then cell wall is present in plant cell but cell wall is absent in animal cell here centrosome is present in animal cell but it is absent in plant cell microvilli it is present in animal cell but it is absent in plant cell pinocytotic vesicle it is present in animal cell and it is absent in plant cell vacuole large vacuole is present in plant cell but 
small vacuole is present in animal cell. So these are the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Now I am going to discuss about some important parts of a plant cell. At first cell wall. It is a non-living part of cell and made by cellulose. It is absent in animal cell. Function The main function of cell wall is to protect the living part of the cell. It is delimiting the boundary of cell. It gives definite shape of cell. Protoplasm the semi-solid, jelly-like, sticky and granular living substance which is present inside the cell is called protoplasm. It is living part of a cell. Here, protos means fast and plasma means liquid. So, protoplasm means first liquid of life. It is composed of various organic and inorganic substances. It contains 67 to 90 percent water. All the physiological activities of the cell are accomplished inside the protoplasm. For this reason, the scientist Huxley said that protoplasm is the physical basis of life. The protoplasm of a cell contains three parts. They are cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. Cell membrane that means plasma membrane that means plasma lemma. Definition The membrane around the protoplasm of a cell is called cell membrane. It is made by lipid and protein which is commonly called lipoprotein. Function It controls the movement of water and minerals. It separates a cell from its neighboring cells. Cytoplasm The semi-fluid jelly-like substances outside the nucleus which is enclosed by the cell membrane is called cytoplasm. Different types of living structure are present in cytoplasm, which are take part in various physical activities of the cell, are called cytoplasmic organelles. In a typical plant cell, normally the following organelles are found. Plastid, mitochondria, Golgi body, ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosome. Function The main function of cytoplasm is that it holds all the organelles of the cell. Cell vacuole The hollow, open space which is present in the cell is called vacuole. It is present in plant cell and its size is large. Usually, in animal cell, do not have cell vacuoles. If present in animal cell, they are very small in size. Structure The outer layer is called tonoplast. Its inner part is called cell sap, which is filled up by liquid substance. Different organic acids, salts, Proteins, carbohydrates are present in soluble form in the vacuole. Function It contains cell sap. It controls the outer pressure on cell. I hope all of you understood everything. If you face any problem, you can contact with me. In the next class, I will explain about the structure of plastic. Thank you everyone. Take care and stay safe.